Hello submarine friends. I thought I would make a video on the progress of my flyout ROV project. So the ROV is pretty much done. I'm waiting for one module to convert power to drive the LED light. But uh, right now I just want to show you guys how it's captured on the chassis. So this little device here just holds it down with this bungee cord. So let me just demonstrate. So when I want to launch the ROV, I simply release it by raising those two arms and then it can fly out. So the ROV is made with um, uh, bilge pump motors that I've highly modified. I take the motors apart and I oil fill them and I pressure compensate them so they'll go quite deep. And so far I've tested it in a kiddie pool which isn't a really good test yet, but it's a start. It'll go into the big pool in the big shop pretty soon. So the next thing is the spool. I already showed you guys how that all works. This is the slip ring, and here's all the components that make up the slip ring. Okay, so this is the um, slip ring assembly disassembled. So this piece right here, this is the end cap that actually these three bolts hold it to the spool. And then this guy here, these wires now join through here, through a penetrator that comes through right here. So that goes like that. And this guy here, that's what actually rotates. So that shoves inside this hole, O-ring seals, and that can rotate. These wires then go through this hole, come out here, and this cavity and this cavity are where the wires are connected. So then it turns like that. So that's how it works. So now I've got it all installed and working. Now, full disclosure, I actually bought a small slip ring and then I simply machined a housing for it to allow it to go quite deep underwater. And of course, it is oil filled and pressure compensated. So the way it works is the slip ring is inside this housing. The wires travel through this clear hose, which is oil filled to this junction box that I made. And it's just a, a void with a cap with an O-ring seal. And then this is the compensating hose. It's filled with um, synthetic oil, just some oil that I had laying around. So the part that drives the clamp here is another Lenco actuator that I've modified for deep use. And um, it's also oil filled, pressure compensated. But what I did is I tied into the compensation system that's existing for the arm. So I simply ran a hose over uh, so the wiring goes into the same junction box that the arm goes into and then I tie it into the existing bladder. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rebuild this arm. It works perfect but it should be rebuilt just to make sure everything is still good. Plus I want to make it look more cool and I'm going to drill some nice big holes in the members just because it looks cool and I want to paint it. You know, it's made just from scrap aluminum that I picked up at the dump and had laying around the yard and whatnot. So I'd like to make it look good. So once I have the arm all painted up and looking good and wrap up a few little things here, I'll reinstall this assembly on the sub and then I have to drill some holes in the hull and install some electric penetrators to wire this all up to the control panel inside. And then it'll be all good to go. So, ciao for now.